And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you the opener of a big four-game weekend set. It's the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Corey Seager. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about ready to roll here. And today's starter, Max Scherzer. Going to be hard to top his last start, Singy. Total command last time out. Scattered two hits over his outing. He had great stuff. We'll see if he's got it again in this one. All right, ready to go here. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. That catches the zone for a strike. And we are underway. The next oh. offering misses. And that's ball one. So here's Scherzer. Swings through that. In May of 2021, Max Scherzer threw a complete game as his wife went into labor with their third child. Game finished two hours, 37 minutes. Scherzer left Nationals Park, made it to the hospital just in time for the birth of his daughter. She was born four and a half hours after he threw the first pitch of the game. Michael Brantley now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Fair ball. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Pitch ball. misses, and that Bruno. is ball one. Chris, it's pretty amazing to think that Jordan Alvarez could actually be a Dodger. The Dodgers originally signed him in 2016, and a little over a year later, the Astros acquired him for Josh Fields. Pretty good deal for Houston. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Right. And that's in there for strike one. Great deal. And you see Jordan Alvarez really emerging as that David Ortiz type of designated hitter, even though he likes point. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Back here at the ballpark, and the right-hander with the good curveball, Lance McCullers Jr. What do you have on him, Chris? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated uh -huh. whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor, okay. and we'll watch how he works in this one. McCullers winds fires. And down on strikes. And a quick out number one. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot. And in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Tosses to first, and two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Up the middle. Over to Abreu. And Seager is set down. New inning getting started. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Gaynor Diaz. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And puts the squeeze on that, and there's one down. Here's Alex Bregman. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The throw is still in time. And now they have a base runner at second. So digging in, Chaz McCormick. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. 
First offering, and it just misses. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. One ball. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. And a ball evens the count. Swing, and he breaks his bat. And a foul ball. Runner at second, two down. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. Ball one, no strikes. That one oh, missed. Dude. Here's a high chopper. Altuve slings oh. to first. One up, one down. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. And a foul ball. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to sit. Ouch, that one got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. You know, Boog, there always seems to be that oh-no moment for the pitcher when he's lost control of his pitch, and most of the time, it's right when he lets it go. He knows that it's not headed where he intended it to go. And here it comes. Pitch misses there. And now it's even one and one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle. And you get it right where you want it. Heim over at first with one away. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one-two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just... No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And welcome back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. That one pushed foul. Pretty unique upbringing for Jeremy Pena, at least in terms of a kid who was born in the Dominican Republic. But then he moved to Rhode Island. Not exactly a baseball hotbed. And he played his college ball at Maine. He was a University of Maine Black Bear. And then went on to be a third-round pick for the Astros in 2018. Scherzer gets the punch out, and now one away. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence. Everything down. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Kyle Tucker sends it out. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Oh, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, but he squared it up and knew it was gone. Here's Michael Brantley. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. In there in its own one. Brantley, multi-time All-Star. Batting second in today's lineup, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2005. And no one could get there. It falls in. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. 
a towering home run and they tack on to their lead it's three nothing. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Smoked in the left, base hit. Up next to the Runner. The catcher, Yainer. They're on at first with one gone. Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Diaz measures six feet even, 24 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Liner, base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Jose Abreu up to hit. Oh, no. Just missing there. It's a ball and two strikes. First and third, one down. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And now it's Alex Bregman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's through there for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. And it Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job. Back here at the ballpark, here's the center fielder, Evan Carter. McCullers back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. And the pitch. Swings and misses. Yeah, the count one and two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters <laughs> just can't lay off of it. And the right hander deals. All three. Look down. Got him looking for the strikeout. Frozen with a backdoor slider. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. And that one hit to first. He handles it himself. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Up next for the Rangers, Marcus Simeon. Swing and a miss. On one. Simeon in his 10th season, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he took home a gold glove in 2021. One that misses. And the count is one and one. Nothing but curveball so far in the at-bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. Diaz down to first with it. That completes the strikeout inning over. The line of the pitch. And a strike on the outside edge. Swings through that one for strike two. Scherzer deals. Gonna count one and two. Goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. 
You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Jeremy Payne, you, Chris, what a story. 2022 and the impact he had in the playoffs. Oh, he was not only the ALCS MVP, but he was also the World Series MVP when the Astros won it all. That's out to center field. Carter on his way over. Puts the squeeze on it. Two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for Tucker. his team. Tucker in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Bounce to the right side. He'll do it himself. Out number three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And the right-hander back to work. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. The 2 Just oh. missed. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Struck him out looking. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely oh no. froze it. Seeger in now. Takes ball one off the plate. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. The one two. In the air out to center. McCormick has it sized up. He makes the grab, and there's two away. Now here is Adolis Garcia. First pitch, oh no. not close. The Rangers hitless so far in the game. Next Whoa. pitch is inside, and that's ball two. Two will count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Here's a 3 0. And that's, that's ball, ball four. Take your base. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Checks over to first, back safely. Time at the plate with two away, swings through that one. And that's in for a strike. Stays alive. And that one gets past the catcher. And he's in to score position with two gone on the wild pitch. The one two squirts away a little bit up with it fires to first in time so the drop third strike we go to the top of the fifth now it's the DH Michael Brantley and he grounds one to the right side the flip to the pitcher covering and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth Alvarez batting with one down takes a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Got him swinging. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Yeah. And he takes a strike. 
Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. In the air, center field. Carter makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in is the speedy Ezekiel Duran. And there's a foul ball. Well, these Rangers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Owen Chu now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Good eye right there. 2-2 Two -two now. And another ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Here's Josh Young. He's 0 for 1. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Tucker pulls it in, and there's two away. And now the center fielder, Evan Carter, caught looking his first time up. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to Abreu. And that is the inning. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the catcher, Yaner Diaz. Pitch is in there. And that's strike one. And that one is lifted in the air. That's down. One hops off the wall. Throws to second. And he's out. And now, Jose Abreu. Lifted in the air, right field. Garcia heads after it. Makes the catch. Two away. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Bregman stands in now and watches strike one. That one ripped left field. Smith going back on this one. To the warning track. Makes the catch. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the six. Here's the left fielder. Josh Smith. On the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now it's Marcus Simeon. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. That pitch right there didn't even snip the zone. He was all out of whack on that delivery. And first offering is fouled off. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's ball. really important to getting back One into ball. this ballgame. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. On, and a pitch. Ripped on a line, and it goes just foul. Right hander kicks, deals. Got him. Two gone. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Ball one there. Seeger measures six feet four inches, 215 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. Swing and a miss. One one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. 
There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. McCullers a move to first. No Simeon miss. back Eight. in. Simeon off of first with two away. Run around the goal. He goes down looking. One left for. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And the batter now, Chaz McCormick. Late with the swing there. Well, these Astros digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90 plus exit velocity. And that doesn't happen by accident. The next pitch misses. Now one, one two. and two. Fouls it off. Still one and two. That's a little bit low. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now it's going to be Jeremy Pena. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Right side, Simeon fires over to first and two away to start the seven. Tucker in the box now, no balls and a strike. Next one misses, ball one. The wind and the pitch. Ground ball up the middle, it's through for a hit. pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you got to make them pay Brantley the next to hit takes outside way outside two and oh yeah. and that's in for a strike the other way young in plenty of time to first and they get Brantley bottom of the seventh and now the right fielder Adolis Garcia the wind of the pitch fought off foul swing and a oh, miss and it's nothing in two tonight his slider has been really impressive I mean tight spin seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand out towards left center McCormick makes the grab on the run. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. He's 0 for 1. On the ground. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, we're clearly at that point in this ball game with the no-no going that we're anticipating seeing some history. Those infielders right now, they are on their toes expecting the ball to be hit to them. Duran up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Next pitch misses inside, and the count is 2 0. And he hits a ground ball right side, sends it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. We go to the eighth, and stepping in for the Astros, your Don Alvarez. That's in for a strike. Scherzer into his eighth inning of work singing he's been good yeah he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets no deeper into the ball game if you're going to get to him you get to him early they didn't do that today we'll see what happens as this finishes that misses it's a ball and two strikes pitch count in great shape it seems you might have a chance to finish it Bounce to the right. Simeon. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Oh, 
Jose Altu taking over on the mound for the Rangers. John Gray. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. The one up. There goes the runner. In the dirt. And there's no throw. He's in there at second with a stolen base. Next offering misses at a count two and one. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. Right handed reliever. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. There's a swing and a drive. Hits the fence. Cut off. Now a throw home. Not in time. He scores. And they lead by four. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Jose Abreu getting ready to hit. Ball one low. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Fouled off. He was late. The 2 1. Base knock right field. One run across. Now a long throw home. And he's in there as two runs score in the play. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's Alex Bregman. First oh. offering, misses the mark. One Abreu ball. gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one ripped left field. That's back there. That one hops against the fence. Throw cut off, now to the plate. Not in time, he's safe. A run comes in on the play. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. So a man aboard. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. In there for strike one. Yeah, there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Got him looking. And one away. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Boo, get back on track. His team needs him. Still only one out here in the inning. Right through there. Got him. And now two gone. Fastball inside just freezes the hitter. I don't think he was ready to pull the trigger. A lot of times hitters are looking away, and that one locked him up. Tucker in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And that one wrapped foul. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Out to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. McCullers back to work. And there's ball a ball. One. That one ball missing two. inside. Ground ball Abreu. Steps on first for the out. Still rolling to start the eighth. Just five more outs to get. Here's the center fielder, Evan Carter. Pulls that one foul. Way inside gets out of the way. In the air to left center. Alvarez in position. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Man, he's getting really close to this thing right now. Ah. Only four out. Left, but it's going to be tough to get. Now a pinch hitter coming on for the Rangers. Travis Jankowski looking for a two-out spark, but the base is empty. 
Puts the squeeze on that one. Staying in the game. Now game on defense, Travis Jankowski. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Andrew Heaney into the game. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Garcia calls it in, two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Well struck left field. And that one hops the wall. And he's got a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. And welcome back. Here is Marcus Simeon. Everyone's attention on the no-hit bid now. Three tough outs to get. That one oh, no. misses in the dirt. Can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. You got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you hope that he strikes the hitter out. Over to Abreu. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Just two more outs to go in this bid for a no-hitter. And physically, there's probably some fatigue, but mentally, which might be what's most important, he seems as strong now as he's been all game. I'm sure the adrenaline is fully ramped up at this point as well. Eight and a third, no hit innings, and just two outs from glory. Finally gives up that first hit. It's kind of tough to see, but it's been a pleasure watching him do his thing in this one. Now it's Corey Seager. In the dirt, Four. blocked. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice job behind the plate there. Base hit, center field. Just so sound in his now, mechanics. Now, now. Hits against the a right firm right. front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Activity in the bullpen for the Astros for the first time. Ryan Presley preparing to come on if needed. Mashinsky warming up as well. That one's in there. One ball, one, one ball, strike. One well, I think strike. that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Adolis Garcia blasts one out. His 27th home run of the season, and they inch closer. It's 7-3. some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. He last pitched two days ago. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And that's outside. Presley, a former All-Star. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a slurb, and he works in a changeup. That misses the zone, and now 2-0. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Flips the corner, and it's 2-1. There's a strike. Right, 
two and two. And okay. now it's filled up. Okay. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And there's that's ball the four. Ball. Take your bait. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Center field. McCormick has it sized up. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. New pitcher on here, Felix Bautista. 29 saves on the season, so he's looking for number 30 right here. He's been big for him in the back of that bullpen. And it's one and one. It might one be one. time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. He's done it again, Boog. That's his 30th save of the year as he puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. 7-3 is how this one ends. The Astros winning streak is over for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.